hello and welcome to the lecture so we'll just continue with the parameters and we are on this handler as we created in the previous one so let's say if you want a case like we are getting the countries right so we want a case like we want to get a specific country with respect to some inputs so if you can just see from the object browser for the countries you can get the country id here with respect to each country you will get the information so this country id suppose i want the country to display as you know spain or some sweden or any country if i pass that id i need to get that i don't want all countries so we need some varying inputs to the requests right so that comes the use of the parameters so we have to modify this query so let me copy this so suppose i'm just using the same thing now we are just getting the country by id for this uh, template and we'll just change it this for a sample example i will be telling so we'll just give that and let us define a parameter here so i'll just give a name like a country id that would be the parameter and the bind variable first let us define the query here so where country id as we saw from the column that's for the thing and we'll use the bind variable so this would be the bind variable so need not put the semicolon as usual then this bind variable should be used here so if you can see i am using this thing and if you want it should be a in parameter we are not sending out so it should be a in parameter and source type is the important one for now we are just sending as a header it's not a url uri will be coming back to the later on but we'll just send it as a header for now and the data type would be a integer because it's a number and yeah we'll just leave the comments and we'll just apply and save the changes so we're getting an error name must contain only okay so this should not have a space so let us just fill it yeah country id so let's apply the changes it's getting saved and it's successful now so only the thing we need to use this as the header is the country id because we have mapped the source as the header so this thing will not be supported in the browser that's why we need a postman for this so going to postman so we can see that this is the previous one that's we are getting and with the same url we are using but one thing the difference is we are using the headers so here comes the part so we are passing the header as the bind variable and that's the country id the exact name so if you can see these are the list of countries so if you want a specific country like spain this is 209 country id so let me fill this one and this will be passed as header to the postman and if i click on send i'd be getting the spain alone so you can see that the bottom is related to the links for the uh, like pagination and other stuffs with respect to some other ways and the thing is we are getting the count as one and the limit as the pagination is 25 and this result is one because one row that were country equal to that one so it returns only one row for this so that's why we get a one object for that so that's how it's happening so even if you try some other country it will get different thing like georgia and a lot of things you can customize it this is how we are using as a http header but there's one more case you can pass it as a url so so let me just go to template again i will create one more request or we can create one more template so it'll go to the modules here to this one and we'll create a template for some different way and we'll create one handler and the parameter 
I know this is going to be a, some lengthy one, but we'll cover all the cases in this lecture. So describe the other use of parameters. So let's create one template. So we are here and we'll pass one bind variable. So if you are taking the example from the HR thing, you can see that employees slash ID as a bind variable. So this is how we are using as a URI parameter. So we will also use the same way like country slash ID here. So the ID will be in the form of a parameter and thus create it. So we'll create a handler, the same get one. So here we'll add the same get and we need to write the logic which I pasted. So I will just add the country ID, same thing with country ID. It's the same. The only thing the parameter will change here. So let us add one thing and it will be the same country ID and the same country ID as a bind variable and it's a in and this is the one that changes it will be a uri so i need to pass that in the uri so let us come back to the template first uh, after we create it so we'll just use the same integer and we will create it so we'll create the handler so handler is created now we can see that it's the same but we are having a change in the url at the template level so this is the template here and we are using get request under that with parameters from the uri this would be the parameter but i made a mistake we thought that's the same one it should not be the country id it should be id actually because we are using as here so let us change this to id and we'll click on save changes so better to follow one to map how the url looks the same way you have to use the mapping with the parameters so that's why it was chosen as that very simple one no need to give a long name for a template that's why so let's copy this and paste it in the postman and going to this postman here we'll create one more new tab and here we'll paste it and there's no headers in this new tab and instead of this id we have to give the country id exact in the form of integer so i'll just give the 209 which returns me the spain so if i click send i'm getting the same results so we are getting all things as the same and there's no change and if you give 206 and you'll get the same georgia so that's how it is and with respect to how the requirements was, you can design the API. But the best practice for this is to use, you know, with this kind of thing, like using the thing, but both are same. You can use the header. If you don't want to expose the ID, if you want, you can use, if you're fine with exposing the ID, you can use uh, this way. That's uh, depends. That depends on how the application is wants to be designed. But for a more secure way, the first method works fine and yes that's the thing so we'll discuss more about the other operations so we need to use some update statements or some insert statements we want to insert things we can define that in the sql source part so those things we'll cover more in the next lecture